Get back here! You're not even hidden! Have you got it? I've been trying, Trevor. I've been trying. Come on over here, all right? I ain't gonna hit you. I've been trying. I know, I know. I thought you said you weren't gonna hit me. I thought you said you were gonna find fucking Michael Townley. There's two Michael Townleys living in L.S. One is 83, and the other one is at kindergarten. I asked the teacher to put him on the phone just to be safe, but she threatened to call the cops. I ain't no molester, Trevor. Shut then up I before I molest you, all right? Now, is there anything else? I, I look through the phone directory. I did find a, a Michael DeSanta, about the right age, married with two kids. What's his wife's name? Amanda? Amanda? Yeah. You're a genius, you moron. Come on, uh, come here. Uh, Woo! Uh, uh, don't you ever not tell me things I want to know! Sorry, Trevor. Run, you little bastard! Get out here! We're going to Los Santos. Are we? Not you, me and Wade. What about me? You're CEO of Trevor Phillips Enterprises. Find us some business so that we can make some money. And tidy my shit up. Let's go, Wade, come on. I'm driving. You can jerk me off if I get bored. I'm joking. You can suck me off. Are we gonna stop for ice cream? Um, so, so we're headed to Los Santos soon? Soon. I gotta make a stop. Oh, what's the stop? Ice cream? Road trip? We taking this one? Get in. Where are your people at in Los Santos? It's just my cousin there, Floyd. He's bunked in with his girlfriend in some place called Vespucci Beach. So, uh, what's your stop? Family's important, Wade. Not as important as the man that's employed you, mentored you, and fed you amphetamines this last year, but it's important. We gotta pay this cousin a visit. I ain't seen him in a while, Trevor. All the more reason to drop by. Okay, um, that might be nice, but where are we stopping on the way? Cause you know, I'm getting kind of wet over here. For fuck's sakes, another chapter of the lost have descended on this fine town. Looking to mourn, maybe revenge their dead. I was thinking me and you could pay our respects. Trevor, I, I, I don't think we'd be welcome there. I mean, what are you going to, well, send them on their way to begin with?
go. Yeah, it went good, Wade. We don't have to think about the loss no more. Let's go find my Can old buddy. Can you give me some warning next time? Big Michael down. I must have fished you off. So bad for you to want to find him so much. He didn't piss me off. The guys that killed him, the federal government, they pissed me off. But if he's dead, 
Who's this? Now you're starting to grasp the pertinent questions. Who is this guy using my dead friend's tired ass movie quotes? With my dead friend's alias? And my dead friend's family? In a house that must have been paid for with my dead friend's stashed millions? Wow, that's a real mind fuck. Yeah, I'll show you a fucking mind fuck. I'm gonna stick my boy in your eye. It's gonna come out of your ear, huh? How do you mean? Trevor! Move up your eye hole, fucker! Cause I'm gonna fuck your tiny mind, huh? I'm about ready to turn you into roadkill! Uh, please! Don't turn me into anything! I just wanna be away. Are we nearly there yet? No way! Are we nearly, nearly there? You keep this up, you're not gonna get there at all! Can you tell me a story? No, Wade! Let's play a game then! You know animal, mineral, or vegetable? I'll go first. I'm nanotechnology. Uh, you're what? Ooh, damn it. I gave it away. I wasn't, I wasn't supposed to say what I am. I'll start again. Animal, vegetable, or mineral? Hey, 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 how about this? I'll tell you a story if you promise never to speak again. I like stories. Of course you do. This story's about a boy called Tri... Tri... Uh, Trisha. Is Trisha a boy's name? It doesn't matter. Sounds weird. He was weird. He was the smartest, toughest, weirdest kid in Canada. Well, in the Canadian border region of America. Okay. This boy, he had all the talent, charisma, and guile that a boy could have. But he didn't know what to do with it. He should become a baseball player. No, he shouldn't. Because he's not a fucking sellout idiot. Or hockey player. He did for a while, but his coach accidentally had a stick jammed up his ass. What could he do? I'll tell you in a second, okay? Just let me concentrate on the road. The Trevor! Hey! Aww. Right there, Los Santos. The end of the fucking earth. This is the place! I seen it on the holiday card. So, this is Los Santos. I guess it is. I always wanted to come here. But you got stuck in the desert? It's still San Andreas. Best part of the state. So, Michael, this is where dead men come back to life, huh? It's been nearly ten years, which you'll keep for another day or so, huh, old friend? You mother fucking fuck! I grieved for you! You weren't even fucking dead. You were my best friend. Well, guess who's coming to shit on your doorstep, you fuck? Los Santos, the city of shitheads. Where else would he be? It's this Fuji Beach where he's staying. Will you tell me the story about that boy, Trisha? Ah, yeah, yeah. Where were we? You were saying what he could do. He, he couldn't throw, and his coach had a, had a stick accident like, like I had one. Right, right. But he could fly planes, this kid. So he signed up to the Air Force to fly all day long and bomb villages and maybe just maybe drop the nuke. And it was all going well until one day, just before he got his wings, an evil witch in charge of psychological evaluations told him he was unstable. Grounded him for life. That's terrible. It was. 
sent him into a deep pit of doubt and despair. And just then, ju just as he hit rock bottom, he met a fat, silver-tongued troll under a bridge. That's cool. What was the troll's name? My, Mich Michelle. A lady troll? Yeah, he had tits like one, but no, no, he, he was a boy. Michelle, what the fuck is right. wrong with you? Michelle is a funny name for a boy. Well, this was a funny boy. He sat under his bridge, robbing anyone who passed him by. Sometimes he'd go into town and rob his shops and inns and such. And he persuaded our hero that maybe he should rob people too. And you know what? Little Trisha... Little Trisha did rob people. And little Trisha was good at it. And they lived happily ever after? For a while. Until the troll met another troll in a strip club. And they fell in lust. And he bought her a pair of fake troll tits. Even bigger than his real troll tits. So she could make more money stripping. Maybe a little on the side without call work. But you didn't hear that from me. Wow. And then she pushed out a pair of little trolls. And the big bad troll under the bridge went soft. Hold on, what? So little Trevor made a new friend called Brad. And he was thinking about cutting Mike off. Oh. Oh, we're near Floyd's house. I seen it on I Trevor! He's a shit. I seen it on I find maps. I'll give you directions. Go straight on here. Just straight over this one. I turn right here. Hey! Keep it straight now. Yeah, what's this is the place. I think it is at least. Trevor? Floyd, it's me, Wade! Who? Me, Wade, your cousin! Who? Your cousin! Fuck! He's come to visit you, you rude fuck! Now get up off the floor and fix me a fucking drink! Oh, you, Wade! <laughs> I heard you was off smoking meth somewhere. No, not somewhere here! He's gonna smoke meth here! Give me a fucking lighter! You can't smoke here. Okay. <laughs> this is my girlfriend's place. She's at a business conference. You can't smoke here and you can't stay here. How's it going, cousin? It's been a while. Yeah, I ain't seen you since you was called Nevelyn's bed. A guy we've never proved. You gotta go, both of you. My girlfriend, she'd kill me if she knew I had guests. Well, it's not much of a girlfriend if she don't like your family. Now, would you get me a fucking drink? I'm not gonna ask you again. Oh, yeah, okay. Wait. Uh... I ain't got no booze. Well, then you go out and fucking get me something. You go too. This is Cletus. I got both hands on a gun right now, so leave a message. I'll have to keep an eye out for you.
wonderful. A veritable treasure trove. That's a perfectly good sock. Just ignore us. Yes, don't mind us. Pretend we're not here. Okay. You're not Jock Cranley, are you? Actor and artist? I love your work! Oh, stunt double? Oh, our favorite show. Mrs. Thornhill, snap! Watch the birdie! Oh, pretend to throttle me. <laughs> yes, yes. Like you did on that, on that poster you did. Yeah, okay, well, that would be my pleasure. <laughs> oh. uh, like that, huh? Yeah? Oh. Like that. Maybe something oh. like this? Oh. Or like oh. that? Huh? You like that? Oh, that's enough, huh? dear. You like that? Oh. 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 oh, hey. Oh. Oh. Thank you. Mm, wow, that's quite a woman oh. there, huh? Oh. We are not worthy. We're, We're not, not worthy. worthy. We're, We're not, not worthy. I'm, uh, I'm not Jock, uh, what's his name? Cranley. Big star in the 80s. We well, love celebs. Oh. That's why we came to Tinseltown. Yes. Yeah. Before we met you, we were trying to break in to Bruce Spade's house and steal his rubbish. The things these stars throw away. Oh. They're not like you or me. <laughs> Mrs. Thornhill has the most unbelievable collection of celebrity underwear and bathroom products. Things they've actually used themselves. You guys have a great vacation, all right? I gotta go. We could do with some help. All this climbing over walls and rooting through bins. It's such a business. Nigel's got an arthritic knee. Yeah. What do you, uh, what do you need? Just a few Vinewood souvenirs for my mm. museum. No, no, look, look, look at this map. I mean, a lot of these places have famous people living in them and some that are just hanging about. Bring us some things. I'd be very thankful indeed. Americans are the most wonderful people in the world, aren't they? The best! <laughs> Such fun! <laughs> <laughs> oh, a pair of fruitcakes. as we speak. Hey, you! Get out of here! Whoa, whoa! Get that crazy son of a bitch away from me! Hey! Where do you think you're going? Ugh! <sighs> 
I said it, Mrs. Thornhill. I, uh, persuaded Mark Faustenberg to donate one of his golf clubs to your Museum of Dysfunction. Oh, bravo! It will take pride of place on the wall above Jill von Krastenberg's pregnancy test. <laughs> Speak to you soon. I love Americans. You're all so brash and uncomplicated. <laughs> 